Attention, soldiers, the following material contains top secrets. Learn after watching, you will become a better version of yourself. Peace. No surprise, Fennec got a huge nerf in the new season, as the best weapon from last season, Fennec was too overpowered, in this new season, its damage range is reduced by 3 meters, and there is more damage reduction on hitting arms and legs, as a result, it's less efficient in long range combat, but still, it is one of the best weapons to use in close range, thanks to the extremely high fire rate. Holger 26 was a well-rounded light machine gun, it had great mobility as well as a good damage range, with the right attachment, it can be used as an assault rifle, even as an SMG, in the new season update, its effective range is decreased from 25 meters to 20 meters, the weapon mobility got nerfed on a few attachments, on the other hand, the lightweight polymer mag receives a buff on weapon mobility, overall, it is still a good weapon, just it's not as quick as it used to be. Shorty was the best pistol in last season, it was a powerful weapon with good accuracy, that can one-shot kill in close range, in this new season, its effective range got reduced from 16 meters to 11 meters, and its hip fire accuracy got a nerf as well, but it is still a deadly weapon in close range, the best pistol you should pick is a secondary weapon. AS Vel is the best assault rifle from last season, it receives a small nerf as well, the movement speed and reload time got nerfed for its large extended mag, making the attachment less efficient in terms of weapon mobility, however, the change has no impact on this weapon, as we usually don't use the extended mag for AS Val, so after all the weapon changes made in this season, AS Val is still one of our best choices in this game. Okay, before we going forward, let's take a break here, please do consider subscribing to this channel with the notification on, I post epic gameplay videos, tips and tricks videos, and gunsmith videos every 2 days. Now let's move on. Let's check out weapon buffs in this new season, LK24 and Rust 79U, both are very average weapons of their kind, they both got a buff in the upper body multiplier, now it deals 1.1 times normal damage to the upper body hitbox, however, as you can see from the graph, this doesn't improve weapon TTK in any range, which is kind of pointless for these two weapons, again, they are still very average weapons in terms of weapon TTK, the new buff won't make them outstanding anyway, but it's better than nothing, it will slightly improve the weapon performance in BR. The next buff is for Type 25, the control of the weapon got improved for its steady stock, making Type 25 easier to use. Type 25 was a beast that is hard to control, with this new buff, the weapon stability is improved a lot. So after the new weapon update, which weapon should we use in this game? What's the recommended loadout for the weapon? Well, for SMGs, I would pick MX-9 and for assault rifles, I would still use AS Val, they are still the meta in this game, and these are the best loadouts that I recommend for these weapons. Soldiers, our session ends here today, hope you enjoy the weapon discussion and different loadouts that I presented in this video, and if you did, please do leave a like, and comments below. Subscribe with notification on, so you won't miss out on my future tips and tricks videos, share this video for supporting this channel, and for appreciating my hard work. I will see you again in our next mission, until then, stay safe, peace out.